Jerry. And Hank Brush here. Welcome to the second day of the NBA playoffs of Game 2 on 2K Sports. Now we're ready to get this thing started. As right now, the next commentators I have here on the board, we have it all called for now. We have an next one that will be participating for each of the games. And that's right. I have an next one here coming in. And this time, it is Fan. He's along with the other commentators, along with Gangsta Beast, and the further commentary, Son of Beast. And here are the lineups, as right at the moment, it's game two. Shady Gorgeous Alexander and CJ McCollum are your key guards in the point guard positions. Zion Williamson is on Jalen Williams. Lujan Stewart is on Trey Murphy. Herbert Jones on Josh Giddy. And Sharon Green on Jonas Valanciunas. Let's get this thing started for the first day to the second day for games one as we get this thing underway at Paycom Center. We'll be back with a post-game show right after this. See you all later, everybody. And these are our standing lineups. The Shaker Gordon's Alexander and the team are ready to get this thing underway. Sit tight, it's game time. Thanks for joining us here for another NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. And we are here at Oklahoma City, home of the Thunders, take on against the Pelicans in Game 2. I'm Fan, and I'm here with my commentary support with Gangster Beast and Son of Beast. Key matchups in between CJ McCollum and Shane Gilbert's Alexander. Now this is what we made up to be. We're ready to find out who can they get there through. They were really ready to show them off. I love this one. Let's find out how they can get their head up. And yes, this is what I've always been dominating it. I really would love to see what they do. It's a playoff game. Everybody's here having a fun night. Let's find out who takes a care of it. Ball set, and the Thunders will take on game two. All field and ready to go. One last look here between Shea Gordix Alexander and CJ McCollum. And it's Williams, he's on, and he's on Zion Williamson. Dirk, he's with Robert Jones. Then from here is Jonas Valanciunas on Holmgren and Giddy on Murphy the second. With a start with a two, this one lays up and no good. CJ McCollum with it all, and it's stolen by Dork. Here comes Shay! What a finish with the dunk! Now, that's when you start things off like that. Shay and Gordy tell Xavier, does show it all. Impressive sight, however, you can definitely tell that Dork got a first steal of the game. That is the first turnover that they gotta watch out for. Holmgren takes a steal. Here's a two on one fast break, finds the Gordy Alexander. He finds a pass now again to Dork. Dork swings a pass up again to Williams. Williams on the two. The range puts in as Williams has his first bucket of the game. CJ McCollum with the ball. Looking for its place to run in the setup in the chain. Jones trying to answer it. Another steal by the Thunders. Here comes Holmgren. 42. First foul called on New Orleans. That will be Zion Williamson with his first foul. First team foul called, and it right now will be a first trip to the free throw line for Holmgren. Now to start paying us off, I say that Holmgren has a lot of it to take all of his ability to do. The work doesn't pay off at that point. But well, whenever you take all of them, this is what he has done, a lot of his routine. The better place of the drive doesn't have to be all in conclusive effortness to try to hold on with the points. That's what he takes, a lot of his time with his practice ability to do for the next curriculum move. You know the same thing I always have to say for Gungreen? He's really like a better performance of the art. Show him how it's done and what you love. He makes a second free throw. Holmgren's got his first two buckets down, and McCollum will start it off. McCollum finds a pass to Williamson. What a dunk here! CJ McCollum makes a perfect assist here, and that will be the start for the Pelicans. Oh, that drive's going to be like a hard one to take. They might silence that crowd. Can't let that one fool you. Williams gives again to Giddy. Now finding the Gordy Alexander. He finds a pass to Dort. Dora trying to look it over, now finding again. Giddy, again to Williams. On a shot for two. It's good. Williams takes his two pointer. 
on a start range for A2 game. They lead by six. TJ McCollum on the Gordon Alexander. Tries to watch out from here. Jones with the attack. Finds again to Valentinus. Back step over Valentinus Goldring. And never missed by New Orleans Pelicans. Let's say they're not even shooting really well. They can't let that one get fooled over if they're going to try to stop them. The three for the Gordon Alexander. The range from outside makes it in. He has four points. Keep that range alive and do it again. That's what I'm going to be looking for. The Gordon Alexander, an open rebounder, does have an all take. Over no shake, and that will go in. CJ McCollum with his first bucket. Now, I must say now, because CJ McCollum has really been like on for his pressure take. Since coming with a loss against the, the regular season against the Pacers, he's been closing out with the gaps in the quarter. Sometimes he does really well. It doesn't really mean that he gets this thing done. All he does now is get that one ranging there and do the point as he can. Williams for three, and that's good. The outside range makes it in. He has seven points, and it's Giddy with the assist. Keep on going now because on great takes it all. And a pass to Williamson. The layup doesn't hit off the hook, and he does a reverse dunk the other way. Funders lead by seven. Now have it over to Williams. Williams trying to step back and off on Giddy Giddy. Giddy over the back pass, finding home great. Home great now finds a pass over again to Williams. Williams trying to hold it on. Holmgren on him. Williamson is on him. And a rebound puts in for Valanciunas. Williamson looking for the attacker. Oh, he just made that slam dunk down. That was no way. How do you know that Williams had that dunk? Oh, that is crazy. Get that out of here. I don't think I would never see that one coming in. That's going to be like, dude. That's like a high flyer, really dope. That was a terrific play presented by AT&T, the 5G slam down. Start things on the other side as Thornton is in the corner. Give again to Shagordix Alexander. Shagordix Alexander finds Giddy. Four on the shot clock, ranging in. Three pointer for Williams. It's good, a range outside makes it in. He has 10 points, and Shagordix Alexander with the assist. You're never going to make that one wrong enough if you get that one through. That will be the start for the three quarters of now. They've got to get there through and done the attacker again. Solid performance effort for Shaky Quarter to Alexander. He finds it the door. Dirk now swings it over again to Williams. Williams trying to step back over again now finding the Quarter to Alexander. The bounce pass to Giddy. Tries to roll again. Holmgren, back step, over around the Tunis is good. We start things off here. An 18 8 score. They are ahead by 10. Well, that's how you start. Thunder is the loud city to be. First timeout call by New Orleans Pelicans. They'll talk things over here with only 3 10 to go. And just to say about OKC Thunders, they've been playing in here since 2020 was the last part of it, but they have made their way to a currency off to the playoff mode. This attacker range never really got it on to a great start. Well, we have Mighty out here. He might be a hard one to take it all. Well, to say about OKC Thunders, they were really on to a great stretch. They must have maintained it on his proper position. I really say that the OKC Thunders did really well, but that point with the first loss in the first round against the Utah Jazz, you think about what it is clear. But you all say now, they get it there going, they gotta get that one there coming down, that's what they all can do. They don't really want to mess this one up because they don't really have it all. New changes for the Pelicans and for the Thunders. As I know, Marshall's checked in. We have a kind of status on the board here as we look for OKC Thunders and the points since the All-Star game happened to be with 117.4 points. They're in fifth place. Well, the concentration is never going to help. They really are going to get this one a lot of compressurized done and they've got to go with it right away. Zeller trying to look for some open room, not find Alvarado. The screen puts up for Zeller. He finds it to Zeller and will slam it down with one hand dunk. Alvarado with the first assist here, they're back down by eight. Here's Giddy, finds Holmgren. On a back pass, finding Wallace. 
Holmgren trying to put a screen. Wallace can't find an open look with the room. Williams finds Giddy. Hayward for three. Swish in. The bucket makes it in. He has three points. They're all over on right now. Gordon Hayward has done it again for so far. And I would have whipped at that. He made that one clear. Here's the drive. And a three for Hopkins. That one ranges outside good. That starts off with a three-pointer for the Pelicans. Two minutes remaining in the first period. Coming in down toward the line as Wallace is trying to find a look for open room. Now finding Hayward. Hayward tries to give up to Williams. Williams now swings it over to Giddy. Giddy trying to step it in. Holmgren trying to look inbound. Finding Wallace. Step back with two. And range in there. Wallace has that first bucket. That one's going to be a hard take. Ben Wallace does have it all. Might be finding out if he can do it again. Zeller's on Holmgren. Trying to look for some open space here. Just down to under 90 seconds. Alvarado in the wing, nearing the sideline, going into attack. And rejected by Holmgren. Let's start things off here with the OKC Thunders. 4.5 seconds to shoot, 119 in the first period. That's a lot of takes out there. I'd love to say that yeah, Holmgren has made that one with the block. Let's start things off there quickly. They're going to let that one go by now because they really are starting to go in. They really are pushing their way off the limit. Hawkins in the corner, down to two, and he's fouled. No shot made as Giddy has his first personal. Well, that's not what you don't want to do. If you mix that one up, you don't take that shot in there, that pulls a foul, and this one got defended, he got caught by the head. He went too early, and that one's going to stay out of the zone. Now the, now the two-point advantage will start things off here for the Pelicans as they will make their first trip to the free throw line, stopping the clock at 116 left. And he misses the first free throw. It's not too late for Hawkins to try to start things off here, but sometimes in regular seasons does have to be coming in there between the zones. How does it really take for Hawkins to get those practice there, guys? Well, you see what happens because this is what Hawkins has been doing. Concentration is never worthless. Worthless to put up in, a, in his attacking zone. It's really difficult to try to like let him keep up with the range. But I don't have anything to tell if Hawkins does that one for most of his time. That's what he was doing, trying to keep that zone out and shut them down here on Defender. They can't let that one get in and out of the way. Holmgren tries to deliver the screen. Finds a pass to Holmgren, and Wallace has that one in. Holmgren with six points, and he assist puts up here for Wallace. You know that's a great arc and a great pass. That's what he's done. Always put up a screen and a little fade shot, and you got it out. Alvarado for two. That misses again, and that one puts another rebound for Holmgren. He has his first rebound, now have it over to Jalen Williams. Giddy will start it off. Motion looking in between. He tries to take the three. No good from the outside. Marshall back the other way with only 20 seconds. Nance Jr. finds Hawkins. Gives it back to Nance Jr. On a step. Layup. No good. That one takes it over as Goldman has got his second rebound. And Hayward will have to swing it off. We'll try to give it again to Williams. Williams to finish the yard. What a layup. And service things off here to end the first quarter here. 27 to 14 to score. One block for home grade. And there are on for the start of the second game. Well realize, let's keep it going. We'll be right back with the second quarter coming up after the break. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. And if you're just tuning in, we're about to start the second quarter in OKC. As I noticed here before, but Shane Gorgeous Alexander has done that one with his better release pick. He's done with a hard one to take. Well, you say no, because Shane Gordon's Alexander, he was like a biggest, the better of the driving. Everyone has an option though now. I've got a good feeling in the range. They might be going for another takeovers. 
to let the oak live. It seemed like a possible enough fear for Shaking Bird and Salisander. You might be doing it for more. The Regent Bells called on Jalen Williams with his first personal. Their first team foul for OKC Thunders at the start of the second period of the game. Here's McCollum, he's on the outside on Sega Gordix Alexander. Watching here, Bonnie Chillers with a screen. Step back for two. And that one will miss it off again. Jordan gives it off to Shaggy Gordix Alexander. Now he will swing off to Wiggins. Wiggins tries to roll it over now to Dort. Dort gives it back to Shay for three. That one's off the rim and it goes with another miss for OKC. Jones back the airway. Give off to McCollum. Alley oop. Oh, Williams! My goodness! This is no way. I thought that CJ McCollum has done that one again. That is crazy. You do not mess it up on him. <laughs> that is crazy enough to say that. CJ McCollum got a perfect eyesight over here. That's crazy. Yeah. OKC Thunders have played against the Sacramento Kings and they've already won that game. It was 112 and 105. It was not the way that it was supposed to go for here, but if you all know what happens, it does take a lot of moment to do this. Well, you now say, because at this point, they really got that one to keep on coming at, flying in again, and this one is not over the choice that they wanted to keep that thing going back in and again. The reporter from Ali LaFour says he's talking right now with, the, with one of the head coaches in between, Shane DeBurnick's Alexander, and Josh Giddy are trying to get that one up straight away. The top of the four positions are not really the ultimate of the option at all. They really are trying to get this one done right away straight, but it's not really easy easy enough to try to keep that one going in again. Well, you say what happens because if uh, Josh Giddy really wants to get that one through the ball, he has to let him make sure he gets a contact to drive. Because of that point, you're never going to get that one done easy. And this one is going to take a lot of time to go up with some shots in creation. That's what they all do to come up ahead. After the foul's cold and OKC Thunders, this will now be Williamson at the free throw line shooting too. He makes the first free throw. We want to remind you, everyone, that Los Angeles tickets are sold out already. So if you're in the Los Angeles section and you got tickets, thank you so much for everybody who is here. And also the VIP tickets here, too. But we have some tickets still available for a BFDI and an MA Sandy tour. So you better, uh, better get your tickets now before, and they won't last long. April 15 has already begun here so for Fort Lauderdale, so they're going to get some more tickets in. Yep, so be sure, to, be sure to catch on now because you do not want to miss it. Plus, the new episode of the of the BFDI TBOT will be underway soon after the first three for the new episode. Then we'll send you over to the back half for the Enemy of Sanity. And yes, season two is back. As we've been so long right now for 14 years, we're finally happy enough to glad have made it back anyway. If you weren't right in for the new episode, I would definitely would react that way. Well, it's not always a big deal if you know how to play this part of a game. What can you go with that one? The figuration will never leave it behind. That's all it goes count out on. Later coming up there tonight, that will be happening here with a couple games that's playing here for tonight as the Bucks take on against the Heat back at Bison.Forum. Follow along with the next game as this one will be the Suns and the Timberwolves at Target Center. This coverage of the games will be happening here at 7.30 p.m the other game at 9.30 p.m. That will be every game coming underway here at On Sun of Peace. Now there's a new substitution on the court. A couple players are checked in and a couple players are checked out. As the current status for Shaken Gordon Alexander with the steal, only 2.1. He's in first place. You know, the hard definition of this steal that happens to be one of, the, one of the worst parts of the drive. He takes a lot of his courtesy to go with the steal. With this rhythm, he times it right perfectly. That's how it's done. Now he swings it, and it's stolen by Valanchunas. Here's McCollum on his way down. And it's blocked by Shea. What a rip off there. And this one turned to be a great takeover rip off pants. Off of CJ McCollum. Now that's when you do with the block. That one's got clean. Gotta take it over this. 
And that one go over Shea. They're down by nine. Back the airway is Shea. Good quarter is Alexander. He comes out the door. Trying to roll him over from the floor. Give it again to Williams. Last that uh, happened to be with Sacramento with the win in the regular season. It's happened to be one of his with the better plays in offense. Yes, it's everywhere you do. That's where that CJ McCollum realizes that when Shaggy Gordon's Alexander beats it over to Kings, the Pelicans are going to have a lot of hard time. They, they probably need to do a lot of them to get that one done right away. They pick off that, and Murphy will slam that dunk down. We're down to two. We just passed three minute mark on a report. Trying out here, Sage and Gordon's Alexander. Williams got it now. Rolling the ball over again to Dork. He shoots it up in the drive, and that will take it in. Lujan Stewart's got his first bucket. 33 22, they trail by 10. All set that foot out there. Lujan Stewart got the field up. That one will pick it up, and that will roll it back in for Jonas Valanciunas. They're back down by 8, trying to look for a leadoff score. Shay finds again over to Dork. Dork gives again to Williams for three. And he makes it in! And the outside is breaking it up. He has his first three quarter of the game. You know the offense has got to take over? I say that Williams got a great three. I give him credit to that. McCollum looking it over. He finds a screen. Tuesday happened to be against Portland Trail Blazers. He only had 29 points and 10 out of 19 in the regular season. This happened in one of his better curricular offense. They've been doing really well at it. You know, opposite range of CJ McCollum does have an all to take with his only repetition. It does happen to be one of it, and you've got to know that one does have it all coming in range. There's no way that they cannot handle it, but that one does have it all to keep the mark out of it for the range shot. Our players in that one feeling with the courageous look, this offense cannot let them go down for sure. That's why but they have to keep on trading again. With Pierce Williams after he grabbed in the miss by the New Orleans Pelicans. He now finds it again to Williams. Looks over. Find inside Joe. Joe with the two. That range misses again. Malin Jr. with another rebound with three minutes in the first half. Trying to slide back right now. Try to speak a spin. Holding inside. Layup. No good. Another rebound put in for Williams. That will be his first rebound of the night and give off to Joe. Joe, give again to Shady Gordon's Alexander. He gives the dick packs over to Dora. Dora with the finish drive. That one's good defender on Jonas Valanciunas. And a rebound will put up for Williamson. The screen for Valanciunas. Here's the pass to Murphy. And it's blocked by Dora. Williamson tries to get to Valanciunas. Back again to CJ McCollum. Three on the shot clock with the shot. Fade up shot. Try to get it back. And Valentinus will score a drive. They are coming back down. 36 28 is the score with only 2.08 to go. Well, they're really wanting to get that one in there. They're fighting for a rebound. They can't let that one slow down. We are approaching down to the end of the first half. Coming up will be the halftime report and for the halftime show of 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Shaq O'Neal, the big guy. <laughs> I didn't really like to call it for a big guy for sure, but in that case, that's going to happen for most of them. And I will be on their way for the next part of the game that will be the first half to check out for the Thunders and the Pelicans. And I'll be on their way through right in between of the first half of the game. And I'll be right underway soon after the first half has been completed. Halftime show is up after this. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local key dealers. A moment that inspires. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by State Farm. 
one good neighbor, State Farm is there. The next two groups of petitions are on the court. A couple players have checked in and a couple players have checked out. Four players have checked out and four players have checked in as Valentina stays on the court. Vance Jr., Hawkins, Verlado, and of course down here we have five players are out of the court. Holmgren's back on it with Gordon Hayward, Josh Giddy, Wallace, and you name it, Williams. Here's another one for Wallace. Wallace, he's again and over. Holmgren up, over Valentina. That tough shot makes it in. Holmgren's got eight points. It's a 38-28 game. Now that cutting is never going to stop you slow down at that moment. That really got good. Pass to Valanciunas. Holmgren's got it now. Puts a push back. Oh, that's when you don't mess him up that time. Valanciunas got that too. Now there is a taunt out there. That almost been a roughing call. They could have counted it for the Pelicans, but that did not happen. That one turned to be like, who's the boss now? Can't mess him over. Wallace for three. Stick in the triple, no good. Hawkins got his first rebound, now trying to look up in with nearing down a one minute mark. And Marshall's covered up on Wallace. Here's another one for Hawkins, gives it again to Nance Jr. Nance Jr. now by Marshall. On the five on the shot clock. Passes over, Nance Jr. for three. Another miss by New Orleans. Hayward's got the ball. He dishes off to Wallace. The finish strikes good. Wallace has got a second bucket and Hayward with the assist. Now I like that. Gordon Hayward definitely got a good look out there. Pretty well done in this start of the first half. Hawkins delivers a screen for Nance Jr. And it's rejected by Giddy. Holmgren, here's the fast break. And they will not get that one in there, as that one will, will wind down the clock with 10 seconds. He finds Holmgren, looking to get a buzz beater. The shot for two, it's good. Holmgren with two seconds, 10 points, and that ends the first half. 42 to 30 is your score in the first half. We'll get to the halftime show and get right underway. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. See you all later for the third. And now, the 2K Sports halftime show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Bernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the champ, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Oklahoma City has the edge here at halftime. They are leading by 12. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Thunder. They're running the offense beautifully this one. Look at the good looks, the confidence looks sky high. It's going to be hard for their defense to disrupt their flow of this one. Kenny, let's get your opinion on the one. Energy on peace is a bit of a disappointment. They were slow to rotate, communication was bad, no effort. I mean, the intensity on that end of the floor, where it needs to be, was just not there. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And glad you up. We're happy to have you back here at OKC. We start things off in the third quarter. We check on that one. Shane Gordon's Alexander has done with a lot of his best routine of a mic game. He's ultimately like a beast. You know how tough he is because he's really like all in for trading. Yeah, speaking of which one right now, there's a lot of fucking great in between of the matches. What's your take there, guys? I'm like, just gonna say it now, if, if Shane doesn't begin, I'm thinking he's gonna definitely be the never do bounce player of the day. Well, I'm just gonna say that I'm thinking Holmgren just definitely made a block. It might be another way that it can get there. Get, get their fruit for Josh Giddy. We not know what, what will happen, but this is like a, a best game of the night. We start things off here as Holmgren takes a turn. Chad Holmgren's got 12 points in this game, as he's already passing down to 30 seconds in the court. CJ McCollum, here he comes, and a throw down puts in. Now puts it over the other way to Shane before gets Alexander. Ready to take his way on his way down as Holmgren will try to give up to Shane Gordon Alexander. 
Kitty trying to pull it back over to Shaking Birdie's Alexander. Wants to take a little change here. Overbound Chinnis. That shot makes it an end. A number two pointer goes in. 14 points for Holmgren and assisted by Shady Gorich Alexander. Well, number two, number bucket, number drive. That's what happens now. Mate. This keeps on coming and go through. Fades it. Oh, Holmgren! That's number two! Are you kidding me now? That's what I just saw that coming. My goodness, Holmgren did it again. Holmgren spins around. Now finds it again to Giddy. Up for three. That's off the rim, and rebounded by Valanciunas. McCallum gives it again to Murphy, and Jones on the order to Alexander. Finds again to McCallum, Giddy's on it. Holds him, screen on Valanciunas. The fade for three, and good on the outside. That takes another three-pointer right now. 46 to 37 to score. That really has to keep on going right now. I mean, there really are no questions asking. Why is there another three pointers out there? I don't know. You may not ever know what's going to happen. The faint shot. Great ball movement for the OKC Funders, and the ball's tipped away. Herbert Jones got his first steal of the night. Going for it again. Oh my! Home win does it again! Number four. Oh, that's when you reject the shot. That's a great defensive effort. I really loved it. Timeout call by New Orleans Pelicans with 5.37 to go as Cody Zeller shut in on the court by Valanciunas. As we sit you around here for games 3 and 4 at 40 NBA, here are the coming up games here right in between. As we've got the Funders already, that will be the, tonight's game, to face against the other team of the New Orleans Pelicans for the Western Conference in the second game. But, as of right now, tonight's game will be happening here as Miami Heat face against the Bucks at Kaseya Center in Miami, Florida, and a part of Miami Dade County. Following along with this part of our morning game, as part of the afternoon of the next matchup, we've got another one coming in here as the Knicks take on against the Magic at the Garden in New York City. And finally, for tomorrow night's game, Sorry, uh, the, the, the later night game at 10.30, we've got you all covered in now as we have a next matchup in between. This range here doesn't have it all, but you can definitely say what you ever want to do. Is the Wolves facing against the Suns at Footprint Center. That'll be games three and four to start things off on the first day in games three. But we'll stick you right on the other side here soon after this. Now there's a new substitution on the go. A couple of players right now are already making new changes on the defensive effort. As the status puts in here for field goal percentage range 49.8. They're in second place behind Indiana. You say about that one here, there was a lot of point in percentage of field goals. This range may have a top timing, but this one may not be able to get that one out of here at the right moment. Here's an hour on Gazeller. What a D by Holmgren. He's got his full rebound. Now we'll have another shake in Gordon Talent's anger. Now he swings off to Holmgren. He's again to Giddy. Giddy now finding again to Williams. Reporter for Rally the Force, as of right now, the CJ McCollum, after playing with their team of the Portland Trail Blazers, he wasn't able to do that one for his ultimate timing on his shot. But the range keeps on happening where it goes in. Well, they may say for CJ McCollum, he is not really like a day for him. And without playing for the Portland Trail Blazers, this may not be the one that you're going to get their fruit. Sometimes it doesn't go helpful enough, sometimes it just got too, too far. Nobody in the world may never know what goes out. Robertix Alexander on McCollum. The three for Hungry. Switches in! That takes a three pointer outside as he has 17. Well, there's a lot of center cards, you get the three pointers, they're everywhere. That's what it all do. Just keep on tucking it down. McCollum on Shane and Gordon Alexander. Great ball movement for the New Orleans Pelicans. Takes a step up three. That misses again as Fulgrin's got his fifth rebound. And on to Williams. Here he comes. And a dunk put in for Holmgren. That one's going to be a lift up tonight. They all really say now because that night is just not what you're telling you now because you've got to handle it all. The fade and two pointer will roll it in and out and it will go back into the net. 
We're under four minutes remaining in the third period for the quarter as he gives out to Holmgren. Holmgren gives again to Dork. Dork. Over again to Shaggy Gordy's Alexander. Tries to roll in here. Free for Giddy. Tries again. No. He doesn't take the three pointers in there as Jones has his rebound. Watching here. The step back. Try to pull it in the arc with a foot floater and go in. As Jones has another two pointer. He hasn't really scored that much at that point. And this one is not always the day when you really are doing it. It is not going to take a lot of time to get this one through. Every player that's between can go with the range offense, but this is not what they always do. They keep on scoring, and this is what never turns out. They've got to let it keep on going by. And yeah, I know. But that doesn't change about the opinion out there. They really can't let that one slow down. And never turn to turns to Harbor Jones and never one again. Now, the Marcus Alexander people find it over with 245 left to go. Williams again to Giddy. Giddy feeling out a little bit, now finding good Marcus Alexander and Giddy. Trying to take his time, looking over again to Williams with the two, and good over Williams and does it again. The next time I'm called by Perkins with only 2.30 to go. We'll take a sidetrack here and we'll get a quick break and we'll get back onto the course soon. They really are going over and that Thunder is the loud city to be. Not the only way that you really want to show them off to stop the advantage. It's going to keep on dreaming big. Some changes for the Thunders and the Pelicans. We have a look for CJ McCollum now with this season and the last four games. And now Alvarado will start it off. With under 2.30 to go, it's a 56-43 game. Hawkins trying to feel it out a little bit, and he finds his shooter. Wow! What a power jam here! And it goes with Hawkins with the assist. Now that's when you notice that Nance Jr. is like flying and says, I'm all over now. Don't get me questioned. No, Nance Jr. does have it all. You're going to definitely be sorry enough if you can't take that one down. Only two minutes remaining in the third period, and now we will give it off to Marshall. Screen on Zeller. Trying to attack it in between on Hayward. Watching the fade, up for two. Hawkins can't get it in. Marshall can't get it in there, excuse me. Wallace now finds again to Williams. Get back to Wallace. Wallace slides it back over, now again to Gordon Hayward. Hayward trying to look over with the offensive struggle. The bounce pass finds Williams. Over Nance Jr. That one's good. The turnaround, wraparound, makes it two. As he just puts up by Gordon Hayward. And Hayward does that with all of his curricular motion. I mean, we got to go again. I mean, I mean, he's doing really well. Give him the best shot he does. Step back, fade away. That one's off the mark and it goes back to Joe. He gets his second rebound of the night with one minute to go. He now finds that Hayward. Hayward again to Wallace. Now finding again to Williams. Williams swings the pass over to Hayward. On a pick and roll screen. And foul buckets off the top. Cody Zeller was his first personal. He'll be adding another team foul for the New Orleans Pelicans with only 48.2 seconds. Now you know what Gordon Hayward does. If he does make a drive, that one pretty clear. But that one got it knocked down. Oh, that's what I just don't even believe. If Gordon Hayward had that one to finish off with the rebound, I would be not seeing what goes in there because that is a hard one to take. Another field trip to the free throw line will be the OKC Thunders, and it's a 16 to 45 game. He missed the first free throw. Now I'm going to do substitution as Valanciunas will check in for Zeller. Back into the uh, spotting for the, for the center guard positions. You can also tell them that for sure that Gordon Hayward has been playing with a couple of the games. First, he started playing in here uh, with the Utah Jazz at the start of the season. And then his next season turned to be with the Boston Celtics. And finally, his trip turned to be with the Charlotte Hornets 
with Lonzo Ball before his next tribute to the OKC Funders. How does that really happen for Hayward to get them there for him? Well, Hayward really had that one all of it, and there, there was a lot of a comfortable facility that may have been turned out of the way, that there was nobody else to help him out. They were really are picking it up at the moment, and I have no idea what would happen for Gordon Hayward if he doesn't get that one points bucket in. It's easy to say right now because if they are really are pushing their way in there, then it's going to be a hard time to make that turnover call. I know it's hard enough to do for him sometimes, but you can't let that one fool out. Hayward makes the three. Triple range outside makes it six points. That's always easy to get a triple range. Let it break. Alvarado, and it's stolen by Hayward. Here he comes on the fast break. And he went out of bounds. That turns over to New Orleans Pelicans with under 10 seconds remaining. Oh, that was going to be a hard one to take here. I am not really sure how this happened, but this wasn't the day that you really had to be out here for your life. Wiggins and Williams are checked in. Alvarado with the ball. Down to five to shoot. Alvarado trying to get to Valanciunas for the two, and it's no good. He misses the two before the time clocks down. The OKC Thunders has been rolling on with two games, but hopefully the fourth quarter will come in handy. All for blocks, home grin. What a shutdown this is. Every angle you got to believe in. Yeah, the hard feeling pays off. Let it roll. Fourth quarter's coming up on our way after this. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Be back after this. While we get there right now, let's have a look for your State Farm Assist of the Game. You know, the definition definitely happens to be the, every constitutional of the game. You know that pass off play, the pick and look moment, gets the Logan Dorts, have that three and knock it down. Well, it's excellent now for Jacob Rodriguez Alexander, he's been like a star. Gotta give that one for a point card credit. Hope you had fun with us for the first game, and now we are finally finalizing the game with the fourth quarter of the period. Jay Gordon, Alexander, and CJ McCollum. Bennett Stewart, he's been on Herbert Jones. Following along is Hayward, he's on Zion Williamson. Alan Shun is on Holmgren, and Dort, he's with on Herbert Jones. Sorry, Josh Giddy on Herbert Jones. Here's a three, try to hold on, take the step back, no room to go, and this one will miss the three-pointer. You know, every every shot he does now, because Josh Giddy doesn't have more room, he's not putting up it into a into a brutal on this on this slip of the drive. That one's gonna take a lot of hard time if you're gonna get there. The screen will put up a Valentunas. No offensive foul has been a great place on. And Giddy will take the ball away. Looking comfortable right now. He's got his second rebound of the night. And now get back to door in the corner. Now finds again. Trey again. The two doesn't hit the mark. Oh, uh, he's not getting up that point. I mean, he's getting a little bit disappointed out there with the angry issue. Yeah, he's not gonna let them score big again. McCollum on door. He finds again a Williamson. Williamson trying to push the battle and Hayward trying to attack it in. Watching here, Valanciunas, Hawkins for three. Nobody around him and he makes it in. It's now a 63 to 50 on the run. They're down by three, 13. Well, they're trailing it up already. I mean, they wanted to get back in there. I mean, they get a lot loose. Getting over again to get Gordon Alexander. Swings the pass to Giddy. Giddy trying to build it out a little bit, looking for a new player ball on the run. The bounce pass. Dort. Will he beat the shot clock? And that one's tipped off. Trying to finish off with the drive, but it was missed short. You know, an easy aggressive on that attack because if Murphy was able to do that one with his defense, and he's gotten pretty clear. But that one was a strong aggressive on defense that he has been able to push out into. He has that termination and he is trying to go with the attacker. This is not where it does happen because that one is a hard one for a digression to make the offense work. But the defensive got a lot of pushbacks in there. They win over the offense. They don't want to let that one score down. And a foul. 
number one goes in for Gordon's Alexander. Another foul called on the Pelicans as Hawkins has his first foul. Jones will check in for Hawkins. And the Bell and KC Funders will check in for a new replacement on the court. Williams has checked in as Alan Davis checked out. Shane kills his Alexander. And he knocks down a free throw. Five twenty-five left to go in the fourth quarter, and about to deep pass to Jones. That was quick, and that one goes back again to CJ McCollum. You know, the pass does happen now because CJ McCollum was able to do that. That was happening like most of the time. Better and aggressive, the offense does not at all. That finds a pass, gives the game a home run with five minutes. Now he faces off to Giddy to Dorth. Dorth trying to look it over in. Home green, will he get it over? Yes, he does it again. That's home green's 21 points in the game in the second game against the New Orleans Pelicans. Now that's a lot of points to have at all. I'm saying he's pretty good now. That's a lot of them to take over it. Oh, what a great defensive aggressiveness on for home green. He says, give me that. Now that's where you don't take over me. I will never give you the ball back out there if I were you. Oh, don't mess up with the bear already. The ball. <laughs> That was all that happened already number four. I can't believe it. <laughs> Don't even judge me. Giddy for three. Oh my, he just made that one in there. That's another two pointer for the OKC Funders with only 4.12 to go. And Williams decided to take his own timeout with only 4.10 to go. They're feeling it. The Rumble powerhouse in OKC does it all. They really are having fun night. <laughs> the next game under and we have it underway for you as we're about to send you over to the next location in Boston, Massachusetts. That's right. We have another rival game for the playoff edition. It's the Sixers and the Celtics. Battle of the range in between from Philadelphia to Massachusetts and Boston. And that will be the next game coming in away at 3.30 p.m. That will be only on Sun Beast. Coming up after this. We got a little quick break out there, and this one's going to turn on for everything. Yes, you do. Take my name, say my name. I have it all. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by... Starry Lines. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by... AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything. While we have a moment here, we have a lot of our group substitution over there, as we've got another one coming in. Just four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And Jones on Giddy. He finds now on Williamson. Williams trying to cover on him. And he's fouled again. Williams calls it with another foul. And it's another team foul for the OKC Thunders. You know, he's really aggressive driving me. He's really like a big man. If you're going to play against him, you know he's really like tough on you. I mean, you're going to play like that. I mean, he's going to pound you down. Another free throw attempt for Zion Williamson. And he's at the free throw line shooting too. He makes the first free throw. Let me tell you now that Zion Williamson, he's been playing for this from this game since 2019 was the first overall pick. And it was a name as the NBA All-Star, All-Rookie, first team in 2020. But in 2021 now, he became the fourth youngest NBA player to be selected to the All-Star game. How do you think that I really turned to be like, he's way cool, guys? Oh, he's definitely amazing. I'm going to say now, Zion Williams is like the best player on the earth, and I was really hoping that I would beg him for some reasons. Because at that point, it's really like, well, you know what? He's like a big guy on the earth on the planet to go with the team. We're playing for Giannis Anacumbo and for LeBron James. I mean, he's like a great guy. I mean, just improve him. 
He's like a pro athlete for some reason. And now, with the Blue Devils, he's been like showing off big already. Yes, he does. Herbert Jones trying to look over with a number man opener. Now, Trina's in the corner. Finds out of Jones. Six on the shot clock. He's going to make a shot here before it's too late. For the two, missed again. And Valachir just dig it in. Another two pointer makes a rebound in for the offensive rebound effort. It's now 72 56 game. We're nearing down the final three minutes in the fourth quarter. Going right down to Giddy. Giddy again. Burdick's Alexander gets it home grab. Home grab gets it again to Burdick's Alexander and now finds home grab. He's on a two. The range for near the elbow takes it in. He has 25. You know, the fan was always wild right now because Ungren was able to do a lot of it and never points foul on the segment. He's been like giving it up already. I mean, he's like a pro. Be the athlete who you can. And two makes it for CJ McCollum. Here now, good morning, Alexander. Been all great so far in the first half and the second half, but his team has been working on his way. Did he try to feel it out a bit? Oh, we're gonna pass back to the Gordon Alexander, give again to home grid. With the two, that misses again. Just two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of the period, and this one will come down right toward the wire in game two. Jones, will he do another one? That one's off the target. Great D by the Gordon Alexander. What a play. You know, motionless is just a hard way to build up for Jacob Boris Alexander. I got a great feeling of him. He has been like keeping on the roll. What a day. Kitty finds Williams with five on a shot clock. Jay Boris Alexander nearing the baseline. That one's off the target. Murphy tries to dig it up. Looks out again to Williamson. And McCollum back again to Valley Trunas. Valley Trunas over again to Murphy. Murphy, here he comes. The drive put it back in. And good. Murphy does it again. It's a 74 60 game. They're trying to look back in there. We're down by 14. Shea will get right over again to Giddy with four minutes to go. Gordon's Alexander now finds a pass over to get to Giddy. Giddy trying to work it up again. Where is Alexander trying to hold on? Four on the shot clock. Three for Holmgren. You bet. Godwin takes another three pointer and it's 28 points for him. If Gordon Alexander saw Holmgren coming down, I mean he's on fire already. You gotta feel the arc of it for sure. Solid D here on Josh Giddy. He's got his third rebound. Let it juice down the clock and let it end here. It's a 77 60 game. With under 30 seconds. Now give off to Gilbertus Alexander. Gilbertus Alexander wanted to feel out a little bit. And we'll get to get a three. That one's off the land. And the last possession for the Pelicans. That will end it here, and that one was all it takes in to do the job done. And that ends the game, folks. The final score of the night is 77 to 16. Okay, see on the roll, the Fenders on the 2 0 series. That's what happens. The power fumble down, the rumble does it all. He needs us to say already, they've been looked like they wanted to do their road game, but now they're ready to come back home in New Orleans. And that's going to wrap it up, folks, with me, Finn, along with Thanks to Feast and Son of Feast and Ali LaForce. This has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Thanks for tuning with us and have a great rest of your day for the playoff mode. Enjoy your day, everybody. All right, Finn, thank you so much, and it's always been a great one to take over. That's right, our OKC Funders have a 2-0 series. They'll be wrapping it up here for the home game, and they'll be heading to New Orleans for dropping in for a game 3-4 on its way down for the next trip. New Orleans Pelicans lost the two games at, in, a, in a away game, but we'll find their way if they can get their homes back in to win that one in a row. Here's what I did with the tool statistics. It was 67-50, 40 field goals, and three-pointers in the range for OKC Funders. 
83 percentage for the free throws for New Orleans Pelicans. Six fast break points was OKC. 40 and 13 was point points and second chance points for the New Orleans Pelicans. 17, 31 for the bench points and assists. Well done to be. That's what they're all going to know to get that one filled out and straight up ahead. 11 offensive rebounds for the New Orleans Pelicans. Then it was defensive rebounds for 21 for OKC. Five steals were even. Six blocks was a crazy playoff of the game. That turned to be like the biggest defensive attacker for the OKC Thunder powerhouse. That one turned out to be great. Only six turnovers and eight points off. That was okay. But three team fouls was only for New Orleans Pelicans with 10 dunks. Biggest lead was 18 for OKC of 18.09, their time of possession. You know, that's what they always say about now because OKC Funders, they were really like keeping that one in there for a long time. I mean, they're really like over the limit right now. I mean, don't don't even question that if they can get there through. <laughs> don't have to believe that. On to you, OJ, for the three star players of the game. All right, you bet so. Time to get started. Third serve of the game goes to Zion Williamson, was only 16 points, 6 rebounds, and 1 steal. He only had made 6 out of 8 field goal range and only had 5 dunks performed. And that was only 16 performance effort on his way down. He did really well, he had to stay alive in that game and done it all as he can. Now for number 2, we go right to OKC Funders this time. This will now be, you all call, Jalen Williams with 18 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist. Only had made that one 8 out of 9 field goal range and only 2 3-pointers were made. Only 20 performance of this effort has gotten pretty good so far. But as you already know, he's like he's like already like on the talent way to go with the drive. That scoop's getting pretty good out there and he's done it again. And your first star player of the game goes out to your new balance player of the game. It's Chet Holmgren. 28 points with 7 rebounds, 2 assists and 2 steals. But guess what he did? He made three blocks with 12 out of 13 field goal range, and that one turned to be like it's great enough to have that impact. One dunk made, 32 performance in the effort, only two three-pointers in each of the games in the first and second half. He is a pro. Just look at him. You can always say Chet Holmgren does swat it out. That's what you do. You don't mess it up. Oh, man. I mean, I have nothing to say about that one here. If this is like a home game, you gotta better believe that one never allowed City. Would you ever kick counter us for OKC to win it all? Well, I don't know about man. <laughs> there might be another way that can definitely win it all for sure. I mean, give it what you can. And that's gonna wrap it up here, folks. Thanks for joining us for the first game. If you're joining us for the second game, we got you covered at 3.30. We'll take a little bit of a break, and we'll get back to you soon. Peace out, folks, for a while. It's the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports Style. This is Paintbrush, along with OJ and a 2K Sports crew, signing out. We'll see you all again for the next game. See you later, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.